showtime at Bullwinkle's Family Food and Fun Restaurant. And here for this performance, straight from the worldwide Wimmy Diddle competition, the whimsical Woolwinkle and Wacky Walkie. Around the world, around the world, around the world, in 160 days. What's that you're singing, Bullwinkle? One of my favorite traveling songs, Walkie. Around the world in 160 days. It's Rocky, and isn't that around the world in 80 days? Well, maybe for people, but I got four legs. It takes me twice as long to get all the way around. It usually takes Moose twice as long to get everything. Darling, you will hurt Moose's feelings. Don't worry, Natasha. Moose won't even get the joke until next weeklings. Who's he calling a weakling? He said weakling, Bullwinkle. You're missing the point. I suppose that makes me a missing link. <laughs> Bullwinkle, all you'll be missing is your favorite traveling song if you don't listen. I'm sorry I misunderstood you earlier. We was talking about this month as travel month at Bullwinkle's Family Food and Fun. It's Rocky, and I was getting ready to tell you that you can't make it around the world even in 160 days if you walk. Guess I'll have to run then. You'll have to fly. Oh, that's ridiculous, Doctor Rocky. Who ever heard of a moose with wings? It's Rocky, and I mean you'd have to fly in an airplane. Then you could make it in a few days. Hey, maybe I could catch up with Boris's joke. You'd be more successful at sprouting wings. Sprouting what? Wings, wings. Oh, whoa. It's for you, Wucky. Oh, Bullwinkle. It's a direct line from the airport. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's those magnificent men and their flying machines. <laughs> oh, no. Magnificent men in their flying machines They go up to the up, up They go down to the up, up They enchant all the ladies And steal all the scenes With their up to the up, up And their down to the up, down Up, up, down Flying around Looping the 
I could get around the world in a week without moving. How's that? Well, if I were to eat everything on the Bullwinkle menu, including the Fay Moose pizza and the Bullwinkle Moose dessert, after a week I'd fit around the world. <laughs> oh, Bullwinkle! You hear that, Boris? The moose is not moving. Just what I was afraid of. I thought we could improve things around here. How could that be? Any which way but moose. is okay today. Why is that, darling? As long as he doesn't know what he says, he's okay. Yeah, once he figures things out, we could all be in serious trouble. I still think a horse with no name is strange, Bullwinkle. Not if it happens to be the name of our next fantasy fountain show. How'd we get on this subject? By coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand. The first thing I met was a fly with 
Chicken crunchers, pizza partakers, and sandwich snackers, here is the infamous, the musical, the magnificent Bullwinkle and Rocky. Did you hear what he said, Rock? He said I was musical. Well, of course you're musical, Bullwinkle. You're the leader of our band. No, no, he said musical. You get it? Musical. Musical. Sounds like an ice cream cone. Moose? Sick? Oh, I got it. Bad enough. And that ain't good. Did you hear, darling? Moose is sick. We should be so lucky, my pet. I am pretty musical, you know, Rock. I know all about them ballads and odes and folk songs and meddlings. What do you know about medleys? I know the most important thing about them. What is that? We're just about to listen to one. What songs are in this medley, Bullwinkle? Put on your boots, Rock. We're going to do a little marching to Yankee Doodle Dandy, White Cockade, and Down Upside Turned World. Isn't that world turned upside down? <laughs> you guessed it, Rock, old buddy. Do you know how dangerous it would be if the world turned upside down, Bullwinkle? Oh, I sure do. You'd get toothpaste up your nose when you tried to brush your teeth. It'd be a lot worse. Yeah, 
You'd have to climb a ladder to get down out of bed. I think we should tell the folks what other songs they're going to hear in the next water show. And when you try to put on your tinnies, you'd have to reach up to tie the laces. It's going to be merch of the toys. What's more, when you jumped off the diving board, you'd go swimming in the sky. That's enough, Bullwinkle. Let the people listen. <laughs> you'd have to use a vacuum to clean the crumbs off the ceiling. You would have to jump up in order to pick your socks off the floor. See, you would have to... <laughs>
smoke, Bullwinkle. I've done enough marching to last me a while. Me too. I hope we didn't step on anybody's toys. Don't you mean toes? That's what I said. Oh, yeah. Now, Rocky, we were talking about what a musical fellow I am, and I had something else to say. What's that? Well, I wrote me a little country western ballad about a outlaw, and I want you to listen. Okay, be glad to. I've got a true sweet the loose cock, the small red caboose. I'm a moose on the loose sweet the blues. Is that all, Bowenkaw? Heck no. You should hear the rest of the song. Natasha, I am feeling the musicness again. Come, darling, lie down where it's quiet in Dudley's den. I will get you a glass of water. Hey, Rock, what do you think of the name Bullwinkle, the melodorous moose? I think it stinks. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> Welcome, fresh from the second centennial Ashtabula, Alaska Artichoke Festival, Bullwinkle the Moose and Rocky the Squirrel. Whew. Nasty business, that. What's that, Bullwinkle? Artichoking. Such a violent sport. Bullwinkle, were you at the same festival that I was? Sure I was, Rock. The one where everybody was choking all them vegetables. I mean, I hate vegetables just like the next guy. But I would never kill one. Bullwinkle, you are out of this world. It's a little too far in, if you ask me. Hey, Rocky, I'm glad you brought that up. What's that? Space. The next songs for our travel month theme are about outer space. That's a long trip. Hope you enjoy yourself, Moose. Here's your space suit. What's your hurry? I just can't seem to remember the songs, Rock. Well, I remember. That spaced out Moose can't recall anything. Now, Boris, give him a chance. I can't do recall. I just can't remember. I will be nice to Moose one whole minute if he remembers those songs. Oh, that would be out of sight. I know it. I know this. It, it's on the very tippies of my antlers. No fair helping now, Rock. But, Winkle, you've heard these 2,001 times. Let's see. It, it's coming to me. It's getting closer. Ah, he'll never guess. Boris, don't try to Star Wars. Give him chance. Come on, Bullwinkle, think. Oh, I will win now for sure. It's coming back to me. Yes, I got it, I got it. The songs are showbiz tunes from 1001 Dalmatians and A Star is Born. No, that's not it. Well, almost. It's 2001 and Star Wars, but they are movie themes. Okay, for Moose's effort, I will be nice for one little while. Time's up. Oh, Boris, you are impossible. <laughs> yes, isn't it wonderful? Wait, wait, I remember. It is the themes from 2001, A Space Octopus and Car Wars, two of my favorite films. Did I win? Did I win? Natasha, honey bunch, meet me at salad bar. Right, darling.
ladies and gentlemen, here on this very stage, imported directly from the Altoona Armadillo Preservation League Charity Ball, it's the Chivalmos, the Generos, the Magnanimos, Bullwinkle and Rocky. You know, Rock, I sure have enjoyed this travel month. It's been inspiring, and I've learned a lot. One thing I don't understand, though, who said Altoona Armadillo? I mean, how can anybody tune an armadillo? Well, Bill Winkle. The same way you tune a fish, Moose. <laughs> that was beneath you, Boris. I am sorry, darling. I don't know what came over me. Yeah, Boris. I mean, Byrus. I mean, oh, I washed my mouth out this morning, and I can't do a zing with it. Well, little squirrel, work on it. The name is Boris Badinov. All I was going to say was that your silly jokes bore us. There, Rocky, did it? You said Boris. Yeah, but I didn't mean to, Bull Weevil. I mean, Bill Wonkle, Smokey Hope, I'm awfully sorry. You're telling me. Don't worry about me, Rock, old pal. You can call me anything you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> what should I do? This is horrible. It's, it's frightenness. It's positively out of control. It's, it's like a peach impediment. Well, why don't you just let me do the talking? I can introduce the next song all by myself. That's questionable. The next song, Southern Nights, reminds me of the old days back on the farm. Boris, did Moose ever live on farm? No, Natasha. He came from Musylvania, where there are only swamps. Well, maybe we grew us a crop of pollywogs and bullfrogs. Yes, to help fulfill the recommended daily ribbit requirements. Just introduce song, Moose. Stick around for the rest of our show after Southern Nights.
that there song put me in a country mood. And I thought that since you can't talk very good right now... Oh, I'm fine, Bullwinkle. I got something to drink during the song, and now... As I was saying, I had a little tune of my own that I thought I'd try out on you before we go on to our next water show song. Uh Uh-oh. Natasha, get the earplugs. We are all out of cotton, darling. Well, hand me some pizza crust then, quick. It goes like this. I love my dear darling. I can't turn her loose. I love her so dearly. She's my kind of moose. One day we will marry and church bells will ring. And soon then thereafter we'll have some mooselings. Stop, stop. I can't take any more. Squirrel, quick, introduce next song. The next song is called Down the Road. That reminds me of another song that I wrote. Later, Bull Weevil. Much later. This is beginning to sound like a conspiracy. Down the road, down the road, got a little pretty girl down the road. and some people just have a way that is not at all, if you know what I mean. I'm afraid I do, and that's what scares me. Natasha, that moose is dangerous. Oh, you made a rhyme, precious. That was Dallas boring. Oops. Oh, boy. Sorry, darling. Heidi, friends and frolic lovies. You are about to hear our next water shows titled Yellow Submarine and Hooked on Classics. That sounds great, Bullwinkle. Yellow Submarine is one of my favorite Beatle pieces. Do tell, little friend. By the way, did you know that we have a very classic place here? Sure. You did? Yeah. Oh. What's wrong, Bullwinkle? Well, I wasn't expecting your answer. What did you expect? No. Well, you can tell me. No. It's all right, Bullwinkle. You can tell me. We're friends. No, no, no. Bullwinkle, please tell me. I just did, Brock. No. I expected your answer to be no. How come? Oh, because then I was going to let you know why we're a classy place. Well, go ahead. Tell me. You ever think moose and squirrel make sense, Boris? Yes, but only the kind of sense you get from plugged nickel. Oh, Boris, you never say anything nice about moose and squirrel. Thank you, Natasha. (laughs) Before I was so rudely interrupted... Being rude is my kind of fun, guy. 
Before I was so rudely interrupted, I was going to explain why we got such a classy place here. How come, Bullwinkle? Because we have good music played by such groups as the Beatles and the Royal Philanthropic Orchestra. That's Philharmonic, Bullwinkle. Does he play with him? Who? Philharmonic. No, no. Well, how'd he get in the picture? Bullwinkle. Furthermore, how'd we start talking about pictures? Bullwinkle. I thought I was talking about the Fantasy Fountain Show. Bullwinkle. I don't even know Philharmonic. Bullwinkle. What? Philharmonic is the name of an orchestra. Not this one, Rock. This one's called the Royal Philanthropic Orchestra. Oh, Bullwinkle. What, Rock? Just start the show, okay? Okay. Now sit back, folks, and the Beatles tune Yellow Submarine and the Royal Philanthropic Orchestra gets us hooked on classics as we stay with our theme of Travel Month and we go on a journey through America underwater. In a short while, folks, why not get hooked on some of our classics in the dessert? Yeah, if you're feeling a little bit sour, they might sweeten you up a bit. Who needs sweet? I like sour. Sounds like a Chinese dish to me. What's that, Moose? Sweet and sour. Oh, Moose is going dingling. <laughs> dingling, that's a good one. <laughs> hey, Rob. Yeah. I think I remember Philharmonic. You do? Yeah. 
played those out of tune castanets in the all finger flapping fishboard band that was a of you. Just say goodbye, Bullwinkle. Goodbye, Bullwinkle.